doing a video for you guys and this video is going to be the perfect fall lip colors for women of color now I know all of you like probably enjoy the most our new lips plums coral and a little bit of red so I am going to be contributing all of that in today's video so I'm going to be swatching them and talking to you guys why I think it should be the best Alright, so the first lip color that I'm going to be swatching on my lips is LA Colors Matte Lipstick in the shade called Starlet. It is a nice red lipstick, but it's not a bright, bright red. It's just one of those reds where you can wear, but don't feel make people feel intimidated. Because, you know, red lipstick allow people to feel like a little bit intimidated at times. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. And this is Starlet. Starlet is a nice, gorgeous red. It's like I said, it's not intimidating top red. It's that red where if you go into a paint, you can still feel a little bit more comfortable in this red lipstick, but you not you don't feel like, oh my gosh, did I really just put this on top red lipstick? Because you know, I have those days where I'm like, why did I do that? Why shouldn't why I couldn't have another option? But I really, really like this one. I think this will look great on women of color. Or any type of, you know, skin tone. But from the color, of course. Alright, so the next one I'm going to be talking about it is from LA Colors. And this one is in the shade called Matte Love. Matte Love is a pretty, it's a lilac or either a lavender purple. But it's great and it's good for fall. Um, a lot of people love, you know, wearing purple lipstick all year long. But some just only wear it in the fall. But... I think a lot of you girls and guys can, you know, pull it off. So let's try it out and see what it would look like on a person who has, you know, a little bit of a woman of color skin complexion. Dry, like, it's drying because it's matte, of course. But, um, if you love matte lipsticks, and I'm pretty sure it won't be a problem, I would give this one about at least a 7, but it's pigmented, so as swatch wise, I would give it a 7, but as pigmentation wise, I would give it a 10. So this is what it looks like on me. Another lip color I love in this one here, it's called, it's from, I believe it's yeah, Maybelline New York. This one is the shade called Color Whisper. And, well, this is the Color Whisper line. And this is the one is in the sh shade number 15. And it's, it's also called so, Some Like It Tope. Number 15, Some Like It Tope. I think it's one of those, like, Revlon lips, lipsticks. The, um, the butter, Revlon lip butters. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay, this one is cute. This one is cute. I can see myself pulling it off. It's easy to apply and also it's like got like a little bit of glossier effect. So this one in Some Like It Tope by Maybelline the Color Whisper is really good. So I give that one a big thumbs up on that. Big thumbs up. So this looks like that metallic look. Okay guys. So the next one, I'm, I have really talked about this for a very long time on this channel. And this is NYX Cosmetics Lip Smacking Fun Colors. And this one is in the shade called Her D's. It's like this. You can tell the color on the bottom what it looks like. But um, I really, really love this one. And it matches this blush a little bit. Just a tad, not much.
This one, I would definitely bring it down a notch with a brown lipstick because it is a little too much for me. But I, I think it'll work a lot better with girls a little bit more lighter than me. And then that is still one of the colors as well. But I really like it though. It's cute. But I would like do like an ombre lip type thing. So, yeah. The next color I want to discuss is coming from... The color sensational line and it is from Maybelline and this one is the color called Bean There number 386 no 380 sorry mm. the Maybelline ones have like a nice little cute um, look to it also it feels a lot buttery so I love a buttery lipstick I don't like to feel dry with having a lipstick but I really do like how this one turned out and I would definitely be rocking it this fall when I do get back into wearing lipstick another lipstick that I wanted to share with you guys is from the same line and this one is the this is from Maybelline and it's called Strike a Posey. This one looks like it's going to have that frosty look. I think this one's going to have that frosty, frosty lip look to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will wear this. I like a little bit of color in my lifetime as far as lip choice wise and I would definitely pick this one especially for photography wise I would definitely like love to wear this and then this one is in number 20 strike a posy a little um, sparkle once you remove see that yeah they do <laughs> they definitely leave one of those the next one I want to talk about, this one is from Rimmel. And this one is called Mon Montone Renew 120 Coral Shimmer, I suppose. Yeah, so this is from Rimmel. I love it because it's purple. Y'all know how I am about purple. like very much I'll wear this one too I just I just feel like I have to wear this one it's gorgeous love it it's gorgeous okay so I have two lipsticks from the company called flower you can get this at Walmart I think this is where it's only retail at but try their website and try Amazon because you might get good deal and a good look on it but I have the one in LB7 Sheer Snap a Dragon. I'm gonna swatch this one. Looks like this. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of the one that I just swatch from Rimmel but more of a more pigmented soft feel so this one is LB7 Sheer Snapper Dragon the next one is from Flower as well and this one is the shade called LB5 Hot Honeysuckle LB5 Hot Honeysuckle Take a look at it, see what it looks like. It's a pretty color though, very pretty. Ooh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Bad at all. My last one is a favorite one. These two are my favorite. I wouldn't love wearing these alone, but these two put together 
is the best. So if you guys watched my rose gold makeup tutorial, um, I had this one on. This one is in, this is at JLB Cosmetics and Vixen. And then I also love comparing it with LA Colors High Shine, Shea Butter Lip Gloss, and Mingle. These two together is gorgeous. So I use Vixen as a lip liner and then I use um, Mingle as the main color. So let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. So let's see. as far as I will lip liner and then I will apply the main color that I love to use it with thumbs up don't forget to check out and i'll have each lipstick that i did mention in this video listed down below and where you can purchase these and find these i'm pretty sure you can purchase, purchase these at ulta amazon ebay purchase it so um yeah so don't forget to check out it's the outside tv where i vlog every weekend with the family and also check out beauty by Deanna d's websites which will be linked down below and also wordpress and don't forget to check out my beauty planner designs channel and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye Challenge and I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. I'm a little awkward about this. That's the kind of feeling that I have right about now. But yeah, 